what happens to all the syringes, masks, blood samples, and gloves once they've served their purpose in hospitals. Ever wondered where all that biomedical waste goes, or what happens when it doesn't go where it should? What if I told you that the very tools designed to save lives could also be silently endangering them? Every day, hospitals, clinics, and laboratories across India generate tons of biomedical waste, a mixture of infectious materials, sharp objects, body fluids, and discarded medicines. According to India's Central Pollution Control Board, the country produces over 600 tons of biomedical waste daily, and Uttar Pradesh alone contributes a significant chunk of that, being one of the most populous states with thousands of healthcare facilities. Used syringes, blood-stained bandages, human tissues from surgeries, expired medicines, laboratory cultures, basically, anything that's contaminated by biological material and could pose a health hazard. Now, here's where things start to get alarming. Biomedical waste isn't like your everyday garbage. If not handled properly, it can spread deadly infections, pollute soil and groundwater, and release toxic gases when burned incorrectly. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Uttar Pradesh saw a massive surge in biomedical waste, disposable PPE kits, masks, gloves, all adding pressure to an already strained waste management system. But let's pause for a second and ask, where does all this waste actually go? Ideally, it should be segregated right at the point of generation, meaning hospitals and clinics should separate infectious waste, sharps, and general waste into color-coded bins, yellow for human and animal anatomical waste, red for contaminated plastics, white, or translucent, for sharps like needles and scalpels, and blue for glassware and metallic implants. This waste is then supposed to be collected and treated at common biomedical waste treatment facilities, also known as CBWTFs. Uttar Pradesh has several of these facilities, spread across districts like Lucknow, Kanpur, and Varanasi, designed to treat waste through methods like autoclaving, microwave disinfection, or incineration. But here's the catch, many smaller clinics and rural health centers still lack proper segregation or disposal infrastructure. As a result, biomedical waste often gets mixed with regular garbage, ending up in open dumps or water bodies, where it can infect sanitation workers, stray animals, and even contaminate food chains. Imagine this, a syringe that was once used in a hospital finds its way into a landfill. Rainwater seeps through, carrying pathogens into groundwater. A nearby farmer uses that water for irrigation, and suddenly, a problem that started in a hospital has reached your dinner plate. Terrifying, isn't it? So, what's being done about it? The Biomedical Waste Management Rules, first introduced in 1998 and updated in 2016 and 2018, lay down strict regulations for segregation, transportation, and treatment. The Uttar Pradesh Pollution Control Board, UP, monitors these activities, but enforcement remains a challenge, especially in rural areas. However, there are rays of hope. Several hospitals in cities like Lucknow and Noida have begun adopting smart waste tracking systems, using barcoding to monitor waste from generation to disposal. Some are even exploring eco-friendly alternatives like plasma pyrolysis and biodegradable PPE materials. But here's the truth, no rule or technology can work without awareness and responsibility. Every healthcare worker, hospital administrator, and citizen has a role to play. Because every glove thrown improperly, every needle discarded carelessly, carries a potential ripple effect that can reach us all. So, how can we ensure safe disposal? Start with training and awareness, staff should be educated about color-coded segregation, and the dangers of improper handling. Second, hospitals must collaborate with authorized treatment facilities and maintain digital records for transparency. And third, citizens, that's us, should never discard medicines, syringes, 
or masks with regular household waste. Use designated biomedical waste bins at pharmacies or health centers instead. Because at the end of the day, protecting the environment isn't just about planting trees, it's also about how we manage what we throw away. Biomedical waste may be invisible to most of us, but its impact is everywhere, lurking quietly beneath our feet and flowing through our water. So next time you see a discarded mask on the street, remember, it's not just litter, it's a reminder of our shared responsibility.